Visual Paradigm Professional Edition or above, allows user to define reusable custom model transformation rules. We call it a baggage. In this video we will show you how to make use of this, to transform organization chart into pools and lanes in business process diagram. The transformation involved into two steps. Define the baggage schema for both source and target, which is the organization chart and business process diagram in this case, and define the transformation mapping between the source and target schemas. We first define the baggage schema for the organization chart, which is the source. Let's create a new organization chart. Name it as org chart template. Create a very simple four level structure. Right click on the blank area of the diagram and select utilities, transformation, define baggage schema, new schema. Name the schema as org chart. This switch the diagram editor into schema editor. Select the root unit. Pick the properties you would like to involve in the transformation. In this example, we pick the name and description. Specify the as root transformation condition to ensure it only works for root level element. Now select the second level unit. Again, pick the name and description properties to include in the transformation. The second level unit will have as second tier conditions automatically applied. Select the line between root and second level to include it in the transformation. Now select the third level unit. This automatically pops out the condition dialog. For the third level element, specify both as root and as second tier to false. Again, pick the properties and select the line. Finally, select the line at the fourth level. This trigger the select to element dialog. Choose the element with both as root and as second tier conditions set to false. It means this level will reuse the setting configured for the element with the selected conditions. Now the baggage schema for organization chart is done. Press the cross button at the top right to close the schema editor. Let's define the baggage schema for business process diagram, which is the target. We first create a blank business process diagram. Name it as BPMN template. Create a pool with three level of nested lanes inside. Right click on the blank area of the diagram and select utilities, transformation, define baggage schema, new schema. Name it as BPMN pools and lanes. Select the pool in the schema editor and pick the name and description properties. Unlike the organization chart, the pool in business process diagram must be a root level element, therefore we don't need to specify as root condition for it. Select the second level lane and pick the name and description properties for the transformation. This lane is similar to the second level element in organization chart, therefore we need to specify as second tier condition for it with values equals to true. Select the containment relationship between the pool and the second level lane. Now select the third level lane. Again this pops out the conditions dialog. For this time we just specify as second tier to false. Add the properties and select the containment relationship between second and third level lanes. Finally select the last containment relationship in schema editor. Choose its second tier equal to false in the select to element dialog. This indicate to reuse the setting from element which matched with this condition. The baggage schema for business process diagram is done. Press the cross button at the top right to close the schema editor. Now we create a real organization chart. Let's pick one from the sample diagram library. We choose one with a simple three level structure. Right click on the blank area of this diagram and select utilities, transformation, transform this diagram. Press create new transformation button. The source side automatically selected the organization chart and the org chart schema. On the target side, select business process diagram. By default, it automatically select our newly created schema. Press OK to proceed. Now both schemas are showing side by side. We can start define the transformation mapping. Select the root unit in org chart schema and drag it to the pool into BPMN schema. 
Repeat the step for the properties. Drag the first line in organization chart schema and drop it to the first containment relationship in BPMN schema. Repeat the same for the other units, properties, and relationships. Finally, drag the last line in org chart schema and drop it to the last containment relationship in BPMN schema. Save the transformation setting and press the transform to new diagram button to start the transformation. A business process diagram is being created with pools and lanes generated according to the structure in the organization chart. You can review this in the diagram or in the model explorer tree. This transformation not just can help you generate new diagrams, it can also help you to update existing one. Let's try to modify the original organization chart. Add an IT security unit under security department. And perform transformation again. This time we select transform to existing diagram and choose the diagram we previously generated. Now the IT security unit being created as a child lane under security department lane. Let's try one more example. We choose our more complex organization chart. We pick one with five level structure. Transform this diagram to a new business process diagram by reuse the same mapping. Now a business process diagram with five level pools and lanes reflecting the organization chart is being created. Hope you will found this feature helpful. Thanks for watching.